joined by Sean Vitali of the After Hours Dance Studio. Hi, Sean. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Thanks so me. much for being here. Um, today, I wanted to start off this very special podcast um, with finding out a little bit about you and your studio, which is um, one of my favorite places to watch on Instagram because you have such amazing dance content. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Uh, so yes, my name is Sean Vitale. I'm the owner of After Hours Dance Studio, which is here in Costa Mesa. And we are an adult-only dance studio. Um, I just think that often people grow up dancing and then when they get older, there's nowhere for them to really go to dance. And I thought that, you know, we should change that. It, dance shouldn't just be for kids. So I always say like dance, uh, adults dance too. Awesome, so does that mean it's like age 18 and up or how does that work? We usually do 15 and over, but most of our, our our clientele is over the age of 18. But every once in a while, we'll make an exception, you know, for somebody who just knows what they're getting themselves into. Like, I always tell the parents, like, we don't edit our music, and the movement could be whatever we want it to be, especially if you're in, like, a burlesque class or a heels class. So, um, but, yeah, we sometimes will let a, a very adult-like child in. <laughs> All right, gotcha, gotcha. And so what is your background with dance? So I have always wanted to be a dancer my whole entire life. Um, and then I got really serious about it when I got to college. And I took like a beginning jazz class, beginning ballet class. And I just remember going across the floor and being like, oh my God, this is what I'm gonna do. And I was very lucky to have a mentor named Christine Baltes who taught at Orange Coast College. And she also was the um, like the director of the scholarship program at Jimmy DeFore Dance Center, which is where I was trained. So um, I did a little bit of training at OCC and then I got really serious about it when I was on scholarship at Jimmy DeFore Dance Center. And then from there, I just kept getting opportunities to teach. Um, I've been teaching kids in dance for the past like 13, 14 years. Um, and then when DeFore closed, we were pretty heartbroken and we waited a little bit and then we decided we needed to try to do something to still create dance opportunities for adults in the area. Because Jimmy DeVore was also in Costa Mesa and they were open for like 40 years. Yeah, yeah, I saw a little bit about them. So um, are you from Costa Mesa or just Orange County or where are you from? I was born in Thermopolis, Wyoming. Um, <laughs> randomly but i didn't really live there sorry i'm just silencing my phone it keeps going off okay uh so i didn't really live there for like an extended period of time um i moved to california when i was about five years old and i've been here ever since first i was in hollywood and then i moved down to newport when i was in seventh grade i've been oh here basically God. the rest of the time so um feel like I'm definitely from this area because I've been here the longest. Okay. So I think you kind of touched on it, but it sounds like your connection to the Jimmy DeFore Dance Studio um, and going to Orange Coast College and having the dance mentor, that probably was kind of where all of your dance experience was based. Is that is that what led you to open a studio in Costa Mesa? Um. I think what really led me there, uh, it was kind of like my friend Pam and I, who actually opened the studio with me, uh, we were yeah. just talking about how like we missed DeForest so much, we missed feeling like we had that home base, and so we had been going to this like vegan restaurant over off of like Bristol, and there was a dance studio there, it was a kid's dance studio, but it was never in use, we like never saw them using their space, and we're like, huh, I wonder if they'd rent to us, and so she reached out to the lady and was like, hey, you know, we were looking to make make some adult classes in Orange County and we were wondering if you would rent to us and she said yes and so basically what happened was they would use the space in the morning and then we would come in after hours that's where our name comes from and rent from them um, Monday through Thursday night so it really just came from like us all missing some you know a place for adults to dance close by like of course we could drive up to LA or even like Whittier but it just it wasn't the same oh wow that is so cool and I love how it just all kind of came together because you noticed like a dance space that wasn't being used in the evening. So that's like perfect. Yeah, it was really yeah. nice. And it was like less of a scary like startup, right? So we already, we didn't have to build the space or sign a lease per se, or, you know, there's like so many things we didn't have to do, which made it just even a little bit easier to kind of get into um, the starting of after hours. Right. And so currently your dance studio is over on Newport Boulevard, right? 
Yeah. After a little oh while, the rent went up so much at the place we were renting just a couple hours. Uh, we ended up finding this awesome little spot and we've moved here in 2018 and we've been here ever since. Okay. Awesome. So, um, so Newport Boulevard is really kind of like the, the heart, like the major artery of Costa Mesa. It kind of connects everything. It gets you down to the beach and everything. So, um, it's obviously very accessible. Um, where do your, where do you people come from? Like, is it a lot of locals or do you get people from all over Orange County or is it even like a broader um, range? Like where are your clientele coming from? Yeah, so definitely a broad range. We do have a lot of people who are like, oh, I was just walking by. I didn't even know you were here. And like, they'll pop in for class. We have people who used to dance at DeFores, which is always awesome. There's some teachers here that used to teach at DeFores, which is really cool. Um, people from Huntington, San Clemente, Dana Point, um, Anaheim, Fullerton. I mean, it's all over Orange County. And then even some people come down from LA sometimes, which is always a treat because so many dance studios in LA. So for somebody to come to us, it feels very uh, flattering. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and so obviously you guys offer like a niche type of market. Like you said, it's, it's adult only dancing. So what are some of like the cool special classes that you have? We do it all. We have, um, I shouldn't say we do it all because we don't have ballet right now because I don't have bars, but we have lots of hip hop, burlesque, heels, lyrical, contemporary. There's technique classes. There's dance fitness classes, uh, tap. I feel like I might be missing something, but just a broad spectrum. We also don't do like social dancing. I just felt like there was a lot of social dancing studios around the area. So it didn't feel like we really needed more. So I left that to them. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you do any like special events or is it mostly just classes? People love to have their parties with us. So I've done like 50th birthdays, 40th birthdays. Um, the one that stands up in my mind the most is like everybody dressed up in this like full on like 80s gear like neon head to toe we did like all 80s music um so definitely can pick like a private dance party here um or if you are looking to just like use space we do that as well um but in general most of our things that we do are just classes we also do these special events where it's like a <clears throat> i call it an open house and so we'll have like four to six mini classes and you can come in and pay like a low amount and you can take from like four or six teachers and kind of get a taste for different styles that you might be interested in taking like a full class from. Oh, that's really cool. I really like to the idea of like doing it for like a birthday party or like some sort of special event, like bring your friends in and just have a good time and, you know, do this really fun dancing. It seems like it'd be a blast. Yeah. All yeah. And it's Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's kind of outside of the box, right? You know, you most people like they'll go to dinner or you like you have like the typical things, but this is a kind of a unique one. I love it. And I love um like even so you can see the background behind you right now, you've got all like the intense colors and it's just it looks really cool and it always catches my eye too when I'm scrolling on like Instagram because it pops and it's bright and it's fun and it's edgy. So um is there anything behind that or is that just like um kind of the branding you decided to do? It all kind of came together. So in the old place, we actually had these lights that are up above on the floor and we would build them out every day. We'd have to put them up and then we'd have to break them down. And there was two rooms in that place. This is only one room. So the lighting kind of came from that. Um, you know, not feeling really like sexy in the like fluorescent overhead, kind of needing something more for it. Yeah. And then there's a trend in like the dance industry to have some type of like marketing on your back wall. So my first initial thought was it was just going to be gray wall with some different like uh, like after hours in different colors, like maybe three different colors or something. And then I was just driving one day and I love brick. I love gray. Everybody knows that like everything that I own, like gray, 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 gray. Um, and so I just all of a sudden literally was driving and just saw like a neon pink sign with a gray brick background. And I was like, OK, I want to do this. And uh and here it is. <laughs> it, looks I mean, it, looks, it looks so great. I love it. Um, so obviously, I, I follow you on Instagram, and I'm assuming you're on some other social media platforms. So why don't you tell me a little bit about like where people can find you if they're not physically coming into the classroom, but just to learn more about you guys. 
Yeah. So Instagram is just After Hours Dance Studio, all one word. Um, I believe actually our Facebook is also that. It's all kind of linked. Uh, if you're looking at whatever we post on Instagram, it's going to go right to Facebook as well. And then our website is also afterhoursdancestudio.com. Um, but I would say like we post the most on Instagram and then our schedule is the most up to date on our actual website. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I like how there's always like, I just, I don't know. It just kind of like wakes you up to see you guys on Instagram because there's so much, you know, like you get to see all the different types of dance you do. And it's really good. Like it's fun. It's fast. It's, I, could, I would imagine that you probably do get inquiries from people because of your social media presence. Yes, we definitely do. Like, oh, I saw you on Instagram or, you know, Google. Google and Yelp are also really good um, little marketers for us. And what, what we really try to work on is making sure that people feel really welcome to come in, you know, because adults don't really like to step out of their comfort zone all too often. Um, so our number one or my number one priority that I try to like get across to all my staff or even the students here is like, we want to be really welcoming. We want to ask people like, oh, have you been here before? What classes do you take? Like, how not awkward can we make it? You know what I mean? Like, and if there's ever a time where there's people in here who don't know each other, my favorite thing to do is like, hey, Cindy, do you know Mary? Or like, you know what I mean? I just try to get people feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, so yeah, I, I get a lot of inquiries and people are always nervous. That's like their number one thing. They're like, I saw you, but I'm scared. And like, that's just not this place. Like we're just really welcoming and you know, you don't have to be a professional to dance here at all. Awesome. So now to kind of bring it back to Costa Mesa a little bit, since this is a Costa Mesa pod, um, I know why you're here. And Costa Mesa is considered like a, a city of the arts. Like we do have a lot of arts influence here. And obviously dance is an expression of the arts. Um, do you find that you get a lot of interest from locals? Just like I know you said people will walk by and like notice the space, but do you feel like people really resonate with it? Are people, do you find like there's a lot of people that will just be walking by and really um, take to your space because, you know, it's like, it's hip, it's fun, it's cool. Um, whereas that might not be the case in a, in a different city that wasn't as like, you know, open to arts and stepping out of their comfort zone. Yeah, I definitely think that there's just a more like of an acceptance and like, um, almost, I don't want to say an expectation, but it's just it's more like readily available and you just expect it because you are used to it, you know, and it's something you don't even necessarily realize until you go somewhere else and you realize like how much arts are not a part of other cities, you know, and you can kind of see it in like the aesthetic or even like the events that are put on in our city. Um, and I do think that because of where we're located also, it's just a great, like, easy access. Like, people can come here, you know, even if you live in Huntington or Irvine, like, it's very quick and accessible. So I think that helps as well. Well, thank you so much for sharing about your business. I hope everybody goes and follows your dance studio on Instagram and Facebook. And um, people go check out a class. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Try something new. And you're going to get like a good workout in too. And you won't even really realize you're working out, which is the best part. Awesome. Well, Sean, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.